here we go, heading back up into the air for just a quick little weekend wedding trip to San Antonio, but figured better late than never, better late than never, and uh, take you guys along with me. Bye bye, Rochester. Hi in the sky. Jeffrey's probably freaking out. And one of the pluses to Baltimore is Chick-fil-A. We do not have one up in Rochester just yet. So Chick-fil-A. So we're deplaning because our plane's broken here in Baltimore. Getting another one. So we ended up having to move to a completely different terminal. So we went from B to A. We originally landed in C. But Overall, I actually kind of like this airport, and even since I've been here last, which is, oh god, it's probably been about six months or so, they've added a lot of new restaurants, and I really like how airports are starting to go with more of a individualized, non-chain look to their stores. Like, you don't see a bunch of TGI Fridays and that type of thing in this airport. You definitely see a lot more. It looks like mom and pop style, new a uh, new age like breweries and whatnot throughout the terminals straight through there. But it's really nice, really nice. Olivia's made friends. <laughs> They're sharing her stories. I am so tired already. Pleasant experience with Alamo. We, well, I did the uh, ride of the day deal a few weeks ago. It was sixty-six dollars for the entire weekend, and it guarantees you a no. That was before that. Um, yeah. It guarantees you a compact or larger. And every time I've done it, we've gotten an SUV. And here we are in another SUV. This is a Hyundai. What? I don't know. Santa, Santa Fe, Fe some crap like that. But no, super easy. We did the bypass the counter. What? Two minutes? Yeah. It took us longer to walk here than it did. <laughs> yeah, it took car. us longer to walk because this is the new car center and you have to go up two or three different sets of escalators. <laughs> like, it's crazy. But it's really nice though. It's really nice. I didn't even understand what she said. <laughs> Plays money. I don't know. Plays money. Texas has a lot of two person trains, but we did stop and get tacos. Two person. Oh, whatever, car. Jeffrey. You made it. My family's alive. I did not sell them. Hey there. Oh, Olivia, they're Oh, <laughs> got tickled. Are they, are they like, um, they did they get born? One's being born. Where? Beautiful creature. A beautiful creature. What is those called? Let's stay back. I don't want to get tickled. I don't want to get tickled. I don't want to get tickled. Too big to fit in one frame. So if we get up a hair ahead of time.
happy Sunday morning. Uh, we are getting breakfast done on the river walk this morning and going to adventure a little bit before the wedding we have to go to later. So let's go. Alrighty, we decided to choose the Gunther House for breakfast. I read online that it's one of the best places and it's right by the river walk. So, double it's win. It's open. Open. Yay. And the architecture is gorgeous. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. See, right down here on the river walk. Wow. What did you get? Waffles! Mmm, we got the biscuits and gravy, the tacos. Jeffrey got the strawberry waffles too. All right, after a lovely breakfast, we're going to remember the Alamo. Welcome to the Alamo! Yeah! The side is dart around and do as much damage as possible. What's that? This one, same thing. It's just that these things.
completed our lunch adventure. So we chose D and D ice box for our lunch pleasures. Oh, they did? <laughs> I'll see your big guy. What were your thoughts on B&D Icebox? It was good. It was Mac really and cheese good. is bomb. Mac and cheese is so good. It had uh, green chilies in it. it was good. So good. <laughs>